Hey, what's up, guys? Fiddle Cubes here again. And uh, in this video, I'm not going to forget to do the challenge, so let's go ahead and start out with that today. And so, I just did it in the calculator class. There's no point making a new one. So, under challenge stuff, this is all the variables you need. You need a repeat, and it should repeat for string. Okay, so now you're going to want to wrap everything in a while loop. So, Underneath, welcome to the calculator version 1, you're going to make this while loop with repeat in it, which is set to true, so it's going to run for the first time, and that's going to go all the way down to the bottom, okay? So everything that we wrote in the last video is basically going to be in there, except for all our variables up top. So all you need to do is at the very end, you're going to, after you print out your answer, you're going to say, do you wish to repeat? which is going to be y or n and then your should repeat or that string variable we created equals whatever they type in and it says well if the should repeat is y they continue that's going to put us at the top of the loop and it's going to make us go again else repeat equals false and that's going to kick us out of the loop so let's go ahead and test this out we're going to do 5 divided by 5 do we should repeat yes 9 times 9 81 Yes. 7 divided by 1. 7. Nope. Don't want to repeat. And that's going to exit out of the program. So that's it for the calculator challenge. But it's pretty simple if you guys can figure it out. Um, now you see how simple it is. So when you're finding these challenges and you're trying to find a solution, always think simple first. And uh, yeah. So on to factors. So let's go ahead and make a new class called factors and add in that main method. And in this tutorial, we're going to make a program that takes in one number and lists all the factors of that number. So if you guys can remember for one of the challenges, I can't remember for which video, I'm pretty sure for the for loops, we had I had a challenge that said list all the prime numbers from up to 100, and that was a way to check if the amount of factors a number had was more than 2, it was composite, otherwise it was prime. Uh, this is just going to print out if it's prime or composite all the factors that number has. So first thing is we need that scanner, and in this video I'm going to make it called input, just to prove a point. Let's go ahead, input, remember, it's going to be underlined red because you have to input, import it. So hit control shift O, that organizes all your inputs. And you need a number, this is going to be what the user, enter, uh, what the user types in. So now we're going to ask them, enter in a number. And I'll tell you its factors. Okay, that's what the computer is going to print out. And then you're going to say number equals input dot next int. So you're going to say, well, the number that we're checking is going to be equal to the number that the user types in. Hopefully they type in an integer. It won't work if it's a if it has decimals, but we're not going to check for that. If the number is less than or equal to zero then we're gonna actually have to say something we're gonna have to say uh, you can't do that so you can't input numbers you can't input a number that is less than or equal to zero aborting because think about it zero doesn't really have any factors and neither does anything we don't you can't really find factors of negative numbers and you want to close the input and return because we're exiting out of the program. Now go ahead and create that for loop. And i is going to start as 1 because we know 0 can't be a factor of any number. And it's going to be less than or equal to because uh, factors are inclusive to that number. So if the number was 10, I would start at 1, go through a bunch of times. And once it got to 10, it would go through one last time and that would be it. So you create that, and uh, the first thing we're going to check is if i, well, if the number modulus i equals 0. So what is that doing? Well, it's going to say if the number, which let's say is 10, divided by i, which starts out as 1, equals 0. So if there's no remainder, then you know it's a factor. So 10 divided by 1 has no remainder. So it's going to hit this if statement. If it was 10 divided by 3, there is a, rema a remainder of 1. So it would not hit this. So now in this if statement, 
code put if i equals one then we're just gonna do system dot out dot print there's no print ln just print i and okay and the last thing we need to do is else system dot out dot print a space plus i so put a space in there uh, print does not create a new line so the for the first number it's just gonna it's gonna print like this so if we're printing the factors of 10 it's gonna print that one and then it's gonna say well because it's not i does not equal one we want to put a space then two space then five space then ten so it's gonna print like that after all that's done we're gonna just close the input and that's it for this tutorial really uh, so let's go ahead and test out a few numbers run this we type in one there's one factor run it again type in ten one two five and ten let's type in a million one two three one two three bam those are all the factors of a million right there print it out all the way to a million so that shows you how this program you can really do anything you can go even higher if you want you can just type in a random number and I guess those are all the factors of that number no idea anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, for the challenge instead of just printing out all of them for all the factors going from least to greatest you need to print out the factor pairs so if your input if your input equals 10 then the output equals you know maybe in parentheses 1 comma 10 2 comma 5 like that you you don't need to do it uh, the same formatting you can just do 110 if that makes it easier 2 5 you know like that um however you want to do it but we need to know the pairs so that's the challenge hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions post them in the comment section and that's it for me See you guys.